what should be the notes of trash by Megan Tonjes? Like would, the, would our notes combine? In what a, kind you... of garbage does Nikki smell like? And then like, what kind of garbage do we smell like together? Precisely that. Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Sweet Fuck. I'm Nicola Fodi. And I'm um, Queen Megan Tonjes. And we're here to give you all things fuck worthy. So we like to start off the show with a couple things that we're here for, and then we move right along into the main story of the day. And then we react to it in a segment called Me As Fuck, and then we thank our babies on Patreon. So let's get into it. What are you here for? I'm here for it. So I sent you a little video, and let's click on it at the same time so we can watch it together. But the way they wish they could respond to customers. Self a customer. -customer. You think I own this business? You think I own Ikea? I'm a part-time employee halfway through a two-week notice. I don't give a shit. I'm telling all my friends not to shop here. Tell them. You think I want five other yous running around the store? Have them call me, I'll tell them. You think you hate this place more than me? I work here. I know the sale ended last week, but can I still get a discount? Do you hear yourself? We can't go backwards. Time marches on. You want the sale from 15 years ago, too? When's it end, Diane? <laughs> With that price, you're gonna have to go through the quantum realm with Ant-Man. Um, that f- flashed me back to be working customer service and just like I don't I don't know if I've ever if I ever said it out loud, but those things I've all absolutely 100 percent thought. Yeah. Well, the beauty of being on the internet sometimes now you just get to respond to people in that way mm-hmm. <laughs> and say all the things that you wanted to when you were working. Today I am here for. Uh, a heartwarming, but also if it was happening to us, we would be terrified. Story. Two tiny, brave terrier dogs chase a bear, like a full bear, out, out of a home. California. Oh, it's, oh, it is in California. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. In Pasadena. That's really not far. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh-huh. Okay. Ooh, oh, they got a pond. Ooh, I am kind oh, of okay. thirsty. All right. Oh, this is delicious. Wow. Spa quality. Mm-hmm. Love living water. here. Love my neighbors. And we're going in. Here we are. Oh, okay. Crumbs. All right. They had lasagna for dinner last night. Oh, my God. Anything going on over here? Or maybe I should open the fridge. I don't know. First of all, this bear, does this bear look really thin to you? Like, this looks like almost like I a think cat. It's a, I think it's a young mama bear. It's a young. Okay. Okay. I think. I was like, this looks like a. This animal looks in distress. <laughs> Clearly, if this animal is trying to walk into someone's house, that little one that slides oh, yeah. mm-hmm. as he's coming out, I mean, <laughs> I can't. I'm, I'm How so brave. Glad. I'm so glad they're okay. Those yeah. little baby dogs, uh, true heroes. And I hope mom learns to lock the goddamn door because we might be living in California, but so are bears. Today, I want to talk about a serious matter um, that is afflicting our nation. And uh, it is, we're in the middle of a ketchup packet shortage. And I don't know if if anyone has noticed, but today is, well, we're filming this on 420. You're watching this on 421, but you get, you get the picture. 2020 was a year where a lot of people decided they wanted to uh, order in food. There was a lot of also just, you couldn't eat in the restaurant. So everything was takeout or pickup or delivery. Mm -hmm. And um, apparently we, as a nation, had too many ketchup packets. And so now there aren't enough to go around. And look what we did. We did this to ourselves. I would say in particular, the restaurants that in my Uber Eats orders put in ketchup packets, even though I'm eating like tacos, did it to themselves it is absolutely that is absolutely and part so of the so You're the right. amount of times that i've gotten food and it came with ketchup packets and i'm like first of all i'm in my home babe so i got the ketchup i got you this i'll, I'll, I'll was- give you my grievance with that in a second but- no one <laughs> i mean sometimes you don't want to get up from the couch you just want it in the moment and just enough i get it um but most importantly babe i'm eating sushi we're not and putting so- ketchup on our spicy tuna roll and i'm here for a fusion i'm here here for for trying new things you know i'm here for trying new tastes but something tells me that this was an accidental purchase now i want to give you my my concern right okay we don't 
usually have ketchup in the house. Like we don't have like a bottle of ketchup in the fridge. I specific- All the things you have in the <laughs> house. I love the audacity of we don't have any of that basic ketchup shit. Because if we want to catch up, daddy's in the kitchen making like a sous vide fucking fusion goddamn like grew the tomatoes himself and is like crispy fresh baked skin. focaccia yeah olive oil he's like made him i mean yes yes rosemary sprigs so i'm sure um, you see you see sugar cane extract and water and you're like oh no we're not doing that here. but you know on a particular day if we do like bring home some burgers and some fries and we need some ketchup Mm-hmm. for those fries mm-hmm. if, if they don't put the packets in the bag i'm sorry babe uh we're not gonna have any ketchup if i mean I, fries, I i like a, i like a dry fry there are some fries that absolutely they not only do they not need ketchup but okay. they are best without ketchup mm-hmm. and that would be a mcdonald's fry oh yeah well that's the classic that's the yeah the the alpha and the omega right there Ab- mcdonald's fries absolutely do not need nor want your ketchup. And that's, yeah. I feel like that's a general rule. I'm sorry if you disagree with the laws of nature, but. Although I was very excited when we all figured out how to open up those little, uh, those little cuppy cups that you put the ketchup in. That was a fun time. Oh, you know what? I do like dipping McDonald's fries in sweet and sour sauce though. I guess we're all hypocrites. Um... <laughs> but also, I mean, in the days when, you know, people could go to your house, which I guess are coming again, we would, poured ketchup packets just for like Miles when he came over because Miles is like queen ketchup. Like there's okay. no, I don't think there's anyone in the world who loves ketchup more than Miles. And so we specifically saved our little ketchups for when that uh, happened. And now all, we have no friendship. ketchups. That is friendship. If I've ever heard of like the sweetest little story of two little baby ants putting their resources together and holding on to like little whatever ants the fuck eat, dirt, acorns, don't know. I imagine everything is like our world, but miniature. Um, Saving it for their little friend who likes that one thing as just like to make them feel comfortable in their home. That is the cutest fucking relationship. That's the kind of love I'm looking for. If someone's not willing to save ketchup packets for me, then we don't fucking need to be around each other. I do that, but with Taco Bell hot, or Taco Bell fire sauce. Oh, fire. Yeah. The fire. Yes. And no other I, sauce is worth it. My, me growing and being mature in that, the growth in that has been mm. going from just throwing them in the cupboard and finding them loosely around to actually putting them in a plastic bag wherein all of, the, all of them go and I can just pick out. Wow. It. Tidy. It, and organized. it used to just be a handful hidden on top of some peanut butter, babe. And then you have to like figure out how to move things, but it's not my problem. We'll deal with it later. And uh, now we have a system. <laughs> Growth. Oh my God. Yes, please. What is this? We're, we're also running out of boba. Remember that story I sent you? Oh my God. Yeah. I forgot I wanted to tack that onto this story. Let's let's talk about it for a second. I'm sad about it. I feel like I already know what you're gonna pick because this is both it, of us. This is, it's Roy. If uh, that helps. Yeah, I, I'm just exactly what I'm picking. <laughs> <laughs> and if we pick the same one, then so be it. Okay. Well, you want to go first? You want me to go first? Yeah, you can go first. I'm this one. <laughs> I'm this. I'm this. Just yeah. rubbing myself in a bathtub of maybe blood, definitely mm-hmm. ketchup, and That's- just. All of my orifices filled with um, sweet sugar tomato. And that's, I mean, that's, I think, who we all should be in this moment. I feel like we really don't have a choice. We can't be anyone else. No. This is who we must be to meet the moment. No one has done more for bathtubs. Than Roy Wasabi. Mm -hmm. I mean, just, I mean, those, oh. God. Look at that technique. The technique is flawless. My I back love Roy. Hurts thinking about this. I'm also thinking about who's cleaning this up. It's very upsetting to me. But more importantly, I feel like this could be an ad oh. or like an appliance center if they want to show like how much wear and tear their their situations can take. Absolutely. Like when they go the random, the random XD route for commercials, mm-hmm. they do like the wacky, the wackiest oh, yeah. ideas. 
yeah, yeah. like sheep come into the room for some reason. Those are my favorite. Yeah, and I and I think that he, it needs to be him in a bathtub mm. with some kind of chaos happening. Yeah, and that might make me buy. Uh, uh, what are they? Bear claw tubs? What, oh, absolutely. Some kind of cloth bringing yeah. it back full circle mm -hmm. bears and ketchup and tubs and Roy. That is my thesis. And I will uh, be available for questions afterwards. Thank you. You know, There's nothing in here. I sipped this. No, just... but it was perfect because it, it fit the character quite well. Okay. Thank you. I'm um, an actress. I... <laughs> I was just thinking about how awful that room probably I, I don't know if I'm the only one that hates the smell of ketchup but that room just made me internally gag his insides probably smelled like this as well it's everywhere so I mean it's a it's a choice I don't know that I'm going out to buy like a tomato based perfume I'm more of an amber and mm. um and ooh, what else do I like in my in my set bergamot Oh, I love a bergamot. Mm -hmm. I love any um, kind of like, if it smells a little bit like that's a forest burning, mm -hmm. but like sexy with some gin. I'm Cedar like, wood, sandalwood. Like, yeah, like a little like like laundry detergent on top. Juniper, yeah. like, some please, citrus. If anything ever, I would love to like go to a place where they're like, okay, we're going to create, we're going to create tanja scent, right? Like we're going to create a line of candles or a line of perfumes. The chaos of just letting me put, I mean, dirt would be in everything. Everything would, would smell have like, like moss and ground. Unless you wanted to be quirky, then you could absolutely call it dirt and it would sell. Trash. It's just my, my trash line of trash. I'm perfume. seeing like a simple white candle with like a very beautiful minimalist, like black font. It's lowercase. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, it's a serif font. Yeah. And it's trash, trash period. period. <laughs> and then it's um, by Megan Tonges in script. And that's the script. <laughs> and I want to buy that. And also, and the glass has like a little ribbing to it too. Mm. You know, there's like a little texture. The lid is wood. Wow. I don't know how we, I'm actually really freaked out <laughs> that we were seeing the exact same vision. Because it just makes sense, babe. Because it just makes sense, babe. You know, that's, that's a tagline <laughs> trash by Megan Tangent <laughs> because sense. it just makes sense, babe. Oh, God, please write that down. Oh, wait, we're recording. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh, oh God. if you don't make a, just a quick merch candle, that is exactly <laughs> that. I don't know what I'm gonna look into. Please. It. Yeah, please set, um, link me up with a manufacturer, please. I'll just act, I'll just go out and buy candles and put trash. You know, maybe we'll have like a limited run. Please, yes. Um, you know, oh. you know who's not trash or trash we love, depending how you identify these BBs. So we want to give a oh yeah to Jeremy Shaw. Jeremy Shaw Shank Redemption this. Joan. Joan, Joan of Arcadia, Joan of my heart. Shannon Lemon. Shannon la 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 la. So sweet, so tart lemon. And William Harvale. And William say no shit Harvale. We also want to but thank you to Alexander Eels. Alexander Swimming in the Ocean Eels. Big Girl Next Door. Uh, my favorite neighbor, Big Girl Next Door. Cat Hart. Cat Hart um, shot through the heart and you're too late. Elizabeth Geierman. Elizabeth, I just want to, I don't know, I want to dance around with you inside of a petty four. Is that a thing? Yeah. Heather Snitch Ferroloides. Heather, shut the fuck up, Snitch. Jennifer Best. Jennifer B. Best. Cat Waterflame. Cat just straight through my larynx. That's not what I was thinking, but I was trying to keep it PG. Waterflame. Roberto XS. Roberto 3XL XS. Robinson, Gisette, Alejandra, Massimiliano, Cruz Gomez. Robinson, my future favorite co-host, uh, once we get Nikki. And Stephanie. And Stephanie. We also want to thank all the BBs who's on the screen, BBs you don't see who are ghost BBs. If you'd like to join us and them in the afterlife, please visit patreon.com slash what the sweet fuck. Thank I you, BBs. Eaten. I haven't eaten today. I've only had coffee and vitamins. And hey. podcasted a bunch. And oh, vitamins. and fiber powder. And fiber powder. We do, yeah. I love the fiber powder I just purchased at my ripe age. Um, yeah. It also contains prebiotics and that turned me on. Um, I get the gummy, chewy, sugary babies to eat. Mm -hmm. I have a little probiotic and a little, um, little multivitamin. 
Um, and I, I haven't, I definitely have been taking any fiber supplements or anything because when you don't have a gallbladder, you don't have any trouble. There's no, if there's trouble, you'll know because there's not. You know, those t-shirts that they have in like at the shore, like in the sh shops at like the t-shirt shops on the boardwalk mm -hmm. kind of thing. Yes. Can you also with the candle make a t-shirt that has like, and really like just not aesthetically pleasing font, very large. Of course, uh, noxious. Whatever you just said about not having a gallbladder, baby. <laughs> Absolutely. Because there's a lot of merch options today. Okay, you know? I mean, I speak in merch. Visit, visit the WTSF merch. Well, we actually do have a WTSF merch store. We could literally make this shirt right now. I literally forgot. I don't, have I ever said it aloud? For I don't even know, I don't even, I don't think you have. Maybe once. Guys, we have merch. <laughs> um, I'll put the link in the description box. I get, I like what, I am floored because we've had this for like a year at this we point. We have, and the, and the beautiful thing too is if you become a Patreon BB, we're gonna drop a coupon code over there for 20% off. Thank you all the BBs. If you're a BB, if you're a ghost BB, if you're still in the flesh, thank you for joining us. Watch the other episode on Megan's channel, on Megan's channel. Megan, yeah, come come see Megan Tanjay. Visit Megan. Um, you can find me most busy, Soundly Awake. I'm rebranding my Midwest version, so let me know what my new name should be and if we should go by Megan. I'm Megan Tonjays. Yeah, uh, spell both of our names phonetically in the comments below. Please. Good luck and God bless. Um, and let us know what other what other trash sent, what should be the notes of trash by Megan Tonjes? Because what, it just makes sense, babe. And then what would be what would be my scent? And then what oh, would okay. our what the sweet fuck scent be? Yeah. Like would the, would our notes combine? In what a, kind you... of garbage does Nikki smell like? And then like what kind of garbage do we smell like together? Precisely that. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>